course, there's going to be guys on that one. It would be nice to get them back if I can snag them, but it doesn't seem to be something that's happening. Here we go. I believe they can still teleport to these, but they won't be able to spawn on them directly. The spawning platform for this is like way off in the distance. Like if we turn around here, the spawning platform is up there. Uh, sorry, there. And then they come running down this corridor. So we've got to do this whole double carpet thing to everything over here on the left. I made the mistake of going back to check something. And so um, this would have previously been too close for them to spawn. Uh, but now it does not appear to be the case. And I don't think I have any more carpet. I've got two. I'm just curious as to whether we can put carpet directly on top of these here. Like this. Yes. Okay. So we'll have to do something like some sort of carpet staircase out here to get up to this level. Which would be fine. And I think I need more magenta dye, which I have. Limited space in here, that's for sure. Oh, I've got magenta carpet. Is peony pink or magenta? I think the lilacs are magenta, right? I don't know if I have any of those. I might. Might be in the green bin. Nope. Lots of bow meal. You know what? I think they're probably back in the in the nether workshop. I, I bet you that I have some more magenta back at the nether workshop. So we'll go take a look to see what I got back up there. If I'm going to go back that way, I might as well uh, slab what I can uh, as far as the waterway is concerned. Send this guy in his way. Bye. I'm so glad that they don't get mad when you do this, because this would be problematic to say the least. Eve Star, thank you very much. Uh, it's the most of what you're seeing is default 114 textures. Uh, the custom connected glass is is something that I use. I didn't make it myself. It's something I found online. Um, all of them, or at least a good start on the textures that you like can be found on my YouTube channel. Uh, in the description of every video, especially more recent videos, I'll have links to things like Vanilla Tweaks and uh, different websites. Uh, Jermsey Boy, I've got a couple of things from Jermsey Boy as well. And I've got links to their, their content uh, in the description of my YouTube videos. It's almost better when you can't see anything, like when you have no context, <laughs> you know, of how, of how big and open this empty void is that you're pushing over. Whoosh. I wish things didn't look so blue in the nether when you're in water. It's unfortunate. Haha! -ha. We do have magenta. Lots of it. Wonderful. That's exactly what we want. Wait a minute, there's probably bone meal in here. Yep. And do I have extra carpet here? Some. That is not carpet. Colorful, but not carpet. We do have some glass, though. I think that's good. What we should do, though, is bring a lilac with us. And got some extra bone meal. This worked. We didn't have any... Uh, we didn't have any dudes spawn on this, which is good. So the water is going to go in this area right there, which means that this is going to be glass. As soon as I get this guy off the edge. Like that. And then this will also be glass here. Oh, come on. And then we have glass like that to keep the thing from flowing too far. Whoa, that was almost very, very bad. <laughs> Put 
this there. Now this is where I think we need to have string because I don't think I can put, oh, I can put carpet there. Okay. It's so funny, once you get two blocks side by side, everything starts to feel a heck of a lot safer. <laughs> I don't know why. Ah, okay, so maybe maybe they won't teleport here. I mean, I guess there's one way to check. We can just grab the old Ender Ender sword and just find out. They didn't teleport out here, so that's good. I mean, this is not going to be pretty uh, at first. I'll have to make it look better later. But I'm not sure why they can hit me. I guess they can see me, or it's got, probably got something to do with the new hitboxes on the new walls in 114, because this is an old, uh, I think even an old 112 design. So I'll have to kind of rethink. I uh, need something here that keeps me from getting too close. We'll leave this corner off just for that one way to get to get up. So that takes care of the um, the hopper chain to get over to this side. So the idea with the carpet is that it's to keep them from teleporting onto a block after they get angry when you when you hit them in the farm. They teleport to the nearest block, and it doesn't matter what it is, unless it's I think stairs or something. Um, but the double carpet keeps them from um, from spawning on it. And I think this is. 216 and then this is probably just one or two for extra so 215 so where are we over here probably like 245 yeah so it's probably around 30 blocks or 32 blocks knowing minecraft it's probably 32 blocks uh in that direction so i'll have to do carpet on the edges of the water stream until it gets to here and then after that we can just have something like this and it doesn't matter uh, those are unfortunately uh, regular um, top slabs because we have to put water on top of it and I don't want the ender pearls to fly out the sides. So now we can go and actually um, add more um, slabs to everything. For whatever reason, I think being on slabs feels more precarious. I think also it's the new the new crouch height it feels like it makes you lower into the block so that you feel like you're partway through it. I think that's what it is. It's the new, the new crouch makes this feel even scarier than normal. Okay, so we've made it to here. Uh, so at this point, I do kind of want to attach this with a little bit of something. Where? Where's the middle of this platform? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Really? I made that an even number? That's odd. <laughs> Pardon the pun. Mm, let's do one, two, three. Let's do this one. So this should be a half slab, which should not cause any problems. I just want something to allow us to uh, get back and forth along this thing. So we can probably just pop over here and then grab that back. Now, the question is, I should have thought about this sooner. At some point, we're going to have to take a right turn and head over to those coordinates. And it's probably going to be close to when I get up to that obsidian block, I would think. Fifteen. So this right here should be where we start to go up. Cool, that seems about right. Seems about right. Let's just make this a little bit bigger. So I think I'm just gonna put down a few torches just to keep this Enderman free. I should have been doing this along the way, but 
um, it'll help when we reload the the chunks and stuff. Because then eventually when we put the water down, the, the torches will just wash away. But this is the problem is that you can't get by them on the one by one. So it's troublesome. Get. I like doing half slab stuff in the end because you can leave it dark and it keeps it kind of keeps things that you light up on purpose like this looking cool when you can approach them in the dark. And so I think we're going to, I don't think we're going to light the waterway up on purpose. We might, we might have to put, um, it might be fun to put sea lanterns underneath each water source. That could be kind of cool have to see. But yeah, so this helped tremendously uh, with the number of endermen out here. Uh, the carpet is actually doing its thing. So the next step is going to be to put glass and take the glass and go all the way down and try to um, create a nice trench for the water and for the enderpearls. So we've got some slabs. We've got some magenta glass, but I'm going to want to bring more slabs and stone. I'll put some of these in the furnace because those are probably done. Those 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 bits in the furnace there. Everything else is going to be in my inner chest, so that's good. I feel like leaving this stuff here is probably a good idea. We got lots of bone meal down here. Oh, I want to leave lilac and some dirt. So that way we can always make more magenta dye right here when we need to. It's just a matter of bringing some extra wool, and we've got tons and tons and tons of white wool. Uh, back in the meadows. So that'll be that'll be good. And there is the cobblestone that I think we were looking at. So if we take a peek here. Yep, there's our platform that we just made. So that is in the right spot, it looks like, because we wanted to get right underneath that dropper. So that's the plan. And I don't have any blocks to plug that up with. I should probably not leave that wide open, even though there's a chance that you could hit <laughs> the right the right spot. But yeah, so that's we're in the right spot there. So I wanted to check that, make sure that things are going the way that we wanted to go. If you are new, then my name is Joel Duggan, and this has been an episode of The Citadel. It is a survival Minecraft world with my friends. We do geeky stuff. Uh, you can follow me on Twitch, on YouTube, on Instagram, Twitter. It's all just my name, Joel Duggan. I'm really easy to find. While you're out there, if you want to support the work that I do, you can check me out on Patreon. Again, it's just my name. Uh, you can get access to the Discord. You can support me in different ways and get different, uh, we'll say, perks and rewards. We're actually looking into doing a, a patron membership server. So if you'd like to play with some of the like-minded folks in the chat, then we're looking into that this month. Uh, and of course, uh, with Pixel Riffs in the chat room, I would be remiss if I did not mention the Spawn Chunks, which is the podcast that I do all about Minecraft. We had a fantastic guest on this past Monday. Adam Clark uh, was on. He is a professional Minecrafter that works in uh, the education space uh, quite a bit. And so he uh, was nice enough to spend an hour with us, uh, actually a couple hours, because we talked to him on, on the render distance as well. Uh, and talk about the work that he does, which is super, super cool. And last night uh, on the Citadel Cafe, Lou and I talked about E3, which included a little bit of talk about Minecraft Dungeons, but Johnny and I will get into more Minecraft Dungeons on uh, on the next Spawn Chunks, of course. That's it for me, folks. Thanks so much for hanging out. I will see you next time. Oh, come on. Beat it. Scram. Adios. Jump. Not me. You. I don't want to go over the edge. Come on. Get, right, get there. Okay.